But one man who couldn't make it to the service in person was El Sinawi. That's because he's in Christchurch Hospital with two bullet fragments still in his thigh following the attacks at the El Noor Mosque behind us two weeks ago. He spoke to cameraman Simon Rogers and I from hospital this afternoon and the events of that tragic Friday are still very fresh in his mind. At uh, 1.45, it's, uh, just we heard shootings, but we, we thought that it's, you know, it's not shooting, it's just a fireworks or something like that. Because actually we're not expecting even our dreams, things will happen in the Christchurch, such like what happened. Uh, then the first round of shootings, about four or five bullets, then we hit another which is a machine gun, around five, six bullets, and I saw some smoke coming from the corridor towards the main room, prayer main room. Every, no, nobody says, just people, some of them start saying, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, God is great, God is great. Then everybody rushed to a small little door, will take you to, back to the mosque. And, uh, you know, just uh, we were running and we, we don't have anything to protect ourselves. You know, it's just, uh, just we, I mean, going for prayer. We, as I told you, we never expect such, uh, I mean, an act will happen to us. Uh, then, you know, because the people rushing, then I fell down and about, uh, I don't know, two, three people at the top of me. And, but no one is, you know, saying any word. No, it's very calm. And, uh, you know, it's, I don't know, I don't know what, how it happened. Even, you know, when, when he was shooting the people, nobody screamed, nobody say something, or just to show that he is in pain. Just shooting the people, they died when, you know, it's about 50 people died. And, you know, nobody say any word. I don't know how it happened, to be honest with you. But when he shot me, I, I felt like, you know, a, a water pipe broken. And, you know, the, the blood flushed. It's just, you know, I, I hit that in my body. But I didn't, I didn't make any movement. I didn't say anything. Then he, he killed the two people at the top of me. I don't know if they died, but I think he killed them. He shot them in the head. Because their blood coming still, still I feel their blood coming from them to my body, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a warm and, you know, just hot blood coming to my head and my um, T-shirt. He left us for a while and he went back shooting somewhere in the mosque. I, I think he saw another group, he started shooting them. Uh, just he came back maybe 30 seconds, 40 seconds, you know, it's, it's a very long, very long time, but I, I can tell it's, it was only about 30, 40 seconds. He's, he shot about two, three people maybe, and he, you know, he shot, he shot me with another bullet. It's, it was the last bullet he shot in the mosque. Fortunately, they came and took me, but was it's very harmful when they put me on that, that thing. It's uh, because actually it's um, my, the, the bone is cracked from the top of the hip up to the knee. If they call it a butterfly crack. <clears throat> is that causing you a lot of pain now? Yeah, that's why. That's the, the, the pain is actually caused by, not, not by maybe the crack or in the bones, it's from the vein, from um, uh, nerve. My nerve is two-thirds is cut. When I came in here, they just actually, they took me to the operation theater and uh, I took them three, four hours 
to stretch the um, one and to f to fix the boot platinum rod in here to two uh, bolts in um, the hip joint ball in here so you've had to have metal rods put inside yeah, your thigh yeah. and one in uh, two bolts in here and two bolts in here it's about um, 30 centimeters rod or something whenever i remember just we were i mean some of them i was uh, just 10 minutes before we were talking and chatting and and just hear that they gone away and never come back again and uh, when my son he just uh, he was helping in uh, washing the bodies and he told me how I mean how bad the I mean the injuries for the people who got killed it make me very sad Today you watch a little bit of the remembrance service. Yeah. What, what, what did you think? You know, I think it's 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 really good, and you find all the people in in the city, even New Zealand. I mean, I mean, they are very supportive, and uh, you know, it's just they understand what's going on, and they are very furious of what what happened because actually. We people in New Zealand, we are not used to such an act. It's uh, the safest country in the world. It's something happened like that. It's unbelievable. Has that changed things for you, living in Christchurch after no, this? Not at all. Not, not at all. It's just that it happened. Some, you know, it's just a crazy man uh, done that incident. Will not, I mean, will not change things for me will not let me think even one second to leave Christchurch. And w will you go back to pray at the mosque yes. when, you, when you can? Yes. But it seems to me it takes a long time, as the doctor said. So maybe it takes three years to start walking. Three years before you might be able to walk again? Yeah. That's what they said. I hope not. I think.